What's going on YouTube? Jens here and you're listening to the Not Entertaining Weekly Not. These are my quick reactions to the entertainment news of the week. Links to the in-depth articles will be posted in the description below. As always, be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter and Spotify. For the week of May 17th, let's start off with some movie news. First up, we got reviews of the John Wick 3 Parabellum movie. It looks pretty good to me so far. I've been waiting for this for a while now. I was unsure if John Wick was going to get another sequel after John Wick 2. It kind of left on a cliffhanger. I'm glad they were able to get the funding needed and there's uh, enough frenzy about the movie for the third one to come out. The reviews are holding about a 70 on Metacritic. Uh, I'm going to be checking it out this weekend. I got high hopes and expectations, so I'll probably let you guys know my thoughts and reactions after I see it on Twitter uh, after I see it on Saturday. So uh, you should guys check it out already. If you haven't seen the first two movies, I believe they're available on Amazon Prime if you need to catch up. Next up, we got a trailer for the new Batman animated Hush movie. Hush has you know, always been one of the more interesting villains of Batman, so it's good that he's going to get his own movie now. Also, it looks like Joker's in the movie, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Superman even to some extent. So so it's going to be interesting how it all ties out. It comes out uh, later in the year. The animation looks good. I don't know what the plot is. They've hinted to a couple things. Hush has also appeared in some of the uh, Arkham Knight games, if you remember. Uh, usually his plot lines involve kind of thwarting Bruce Wayne as a person, but then also Batman. I don't know if they're going to go this route for this movie, but it looks good nonetheless. Lastly, we got a new trailer for the Maleficent movie starring Angelina Jolie, um, Maleficent Mistress of Evil. It's going to continue shortly after the events of the first movie. I actually saw this first one i didn't i held off for a long time i wasn't sure if it was actually good or not people were telling me it was but it's one of those things like i like to wait till the the, the reactions kind of die down and if people are still consistently saying the same thing then that's when you know you got to check it out so i checked it out it actually wasn't too bad for what i was expecting angelina jolie is kind of fit for this role she's definitely you know she looks the part and it looks like this movie is going to be a lot bigger more expansive uh, she's definitely going to be more in tune with her evil side in this movie see something shifts after the events of the first movie to make her kind of do a siege on the kingdom again so uh it looks it looks all right uh it definitely is one of disney's stronger uh live action movies that they've done recently so uh, credits to them on that moving on to gaming news earlier this week rage 2 came out uh, the reviews are about average it's I was very confused by this game. I actually completely missed the first game even coming out, but it's hard to kind of describe what this game is for those that didn't play the recent Doom remake. These are the same developers of that game. Uh, a lot of what people are saying is that it's Doom kind of mixed with the uh, Mad Max game that came out a couple years ago. It's hard to figure out what this game is trying to do. I don't know if it's trying to be a massive, you know, open world engaging kind of game with side story and you know long playthroughs and stuff like that or if it's just trying to be a little bit more arcade like i'm not sure if they really fleshed out that idea it looks fun but at the same time the gameplay looks a little repetitive but if you think it's for you definitely check it out there's plenty of videos and playthroughs going on right now on twitch and youtube so uh, feel free to check it out next up ukes if you're not familiar with them they're in partnership with 2k to produce the wwe games uh, ukes has been involved since before they were even wwe they were making uh, wwf games on playstation 2 and 3 so uh, apparently they're very aware of themselves and they're not happy with the state of their games right now so they're looking to bring in a new team to create a new line of wrestling games to compete with they normally produce for wwe so it's interesting it looks like they kind of want to inspire their staff to come up with new ideas and throw some more competition into the atmosphere just to get everybody uh, reset and thinking new and bringing some fresh ideas to the franchise is dope i like that they're doing this i don't think like enough companies do this because a lot of times we just see the same games over and over again with minor changes and they don't even try to lie to us anymore about the changes that they're making going forward so uh, this is kind of a breath of fresh air i'm hoping that the fans get what they want for their uh, franchise and i'm hoping that they'll see more success after this last on my list we got some gameplay from the new ultimate alliance 3 game informer posted on their youtube channel some new uh, gameplay for the game it looks a lot more frenetic and fast-paced than 
uh, the first two uh, Ultimate Alliance games were. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing yet. I don't mind it. Looking at it, it looks really fun, but they had even removed some of the HUD icons and displays on the screen just to see things a little bit clearer. But even then, it was still hard to follow exactly what was going on. And just it's a lot to keep track of. So for them to have removed so much from the HUD and it's still to look so chaotic is kind of worrisome and to some extent, but maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe it's just the way that section of the game was or maybe the demo that they were playing was looked like that but regardless i'm definitely going to be picking it up remember that this is going to be a nintendo switch exclusive i don't know why but this is what they said it's going to have dragon um jump in jump out co-op gameplay from the couch i think the switch is a good platform for the game to be on just because you can take it with you everywhere and then again people can jump in and jump out so with the joy cons it makes it really easy to co-op with people hopefully it works out i don't know what storyline they're gonna go with i hope it's not just limited to thanos i'm sure he's going to be in the game at some capacity it looks good though i've been waiting a long time for another uh, ultimate alliance game these are one of the few remakes or reboots or revivals you want whatever you want to call it that i've been waiting for for some time so hopefully it all works out it comes out later this year so if you're interested feel free to go check out that gameplay trailer by game informer moving on to television news uh good news for me and i guess good news for other black mirror fans out there they just dropped the trailer for the next season five installment of black mirror it's kind of going to be coming out on june 5th so far they said they're going to be three episodes episodes uh, some of the actors going to be featured for this uh, season will be miley cyrus and anthony mackie they haven't told us much but it obviously a lot of black mirror has always dealt with technology in some capacity this one looks to speak to that even more so the way they hyped up the trailer for it i can't wait for black mirror i love it every time i'll be watching it a bunch of times i really liked um, what they did with banner snatch i'm hoping they do something like that in the future again I, I doubt any of these episodes will any of these three episodes will be like that and then hopefully it won't be too long to the next season of black mirror next up guys i told you we're going to be saying disney for a very very long time i feel like i say disney every time i make a video and here we are again disney just got majority share of Hulu so now Disney has ownership of Hulu effective immediately I guess on paper they really don't have full control I think it's till 2023 but in the interim they have all the all the majority shares of Hulu they had already had about 30 percent a few years ago when they had acquired it but they just recently Disney recently obtained Comcast and Comcast had about 25 percent so now that they have the 25 and the 30 they have majority so it looks like from what they've said they're planning on using using Hulu as a platform to put out their more mature content from Disney, which I kind of find interesting. I don't know how how much hulu and disney plus will be tied together i don't know if they're going to start bundling or giving discounts to people that have a hulu membership and sign up for disney plus or vice versa uh, it'll be interesting but i do like that they're being upfront about saying that they're going to have mature content not just content for kids if they completely you know limit the kid to teen content on disney plus and then do everything mature on hulu i wouldn't be mad at that it'd be interesting i'm not sure how it will work out especially if you can only act access those things on hulu so it's it's an interesting move i hope it works out for them uh, i'm honestly glad that disney's been really upfront about letting us know that they're gonna kind of continue to produce content for older and mature audiences especially after they acquired all these entities these last few years you know not just with uh, netflix and the marvel series but also with fox hopefully this means the good things for everybody it's kind of scary how much they're just amassing over time but hopefully everything will work out for the best last on my list guys we we had a trailer for Showtime 16 Shots, which is covering the unfortunate shooting of teenager Laquan uh, McDonald in Chicago in 2014. Uh, there was a lot of conspiracy around it if you guys don't remember so it's it's sad that that uh this this documentary is still timely but um it looks you know really impactful so hopefully more people will get more awareness about what happened in chicago on this day all right guys that's my recap of the news for this week thanks for checking in with us and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on twitter and spotify peace